Castell, and I figure that it's really important to give you guys update number two. It's Shannon with Play With The World, and when I first started my trip, I'm in Jamaica for the Caribbean Yoga Conference, and the very first day I was here, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm learning so much. This is great. I really realized I need to be present in my own life. I mean, I haven't been present, and yoga really helps you do that, but Jamaica has really been a transformational experience for me, and it's been phenomenal because I've had an opportunity to li literally wake up, wake up to my life and be fully present. Here I am talking to you guys about loving life to the fullest, and I had things, we always have things that we're working on, and for me, I wasn't being present. And I realized as the weekend went on, there are ways to be present and really get grounded into yourself. So today I'm offering you tips on, in beautiful Jamaica, on how to be more present in your life. I can say, oh, go be present, be in the moment, but it doesn't help unless I actually give you guys tools that you can really work with. So to start off with, the very first thing you can do is focus on your breath. Just take a breath in. release. That is the single best thing you can do. Really get clear about how you're breathing and just breathe in, breathe out. If you're feeling very stressed out or you're in a situation that's not working for you, just take a breath and release. You will feel so much better. Another thing that you can do obviously is yoga. Uh, you can take a trip. One of the things I love about traveling is when you take trips, you're forced to be present because you're in new surroundings, you're working and talking to new people, and you're out of your own comfort zone. So that's a really good way, but not all, we don't always travel. So another really good thing is to really get grounded with yourself. Woo! That was a big wave. I loved it. Look at that. Woo! I'm standing here with my feet in the ocean as I talk to you guys, and that is a great way to be present. I'm literally connecting with nature. I am full-blown grounding myself in nature. You see the palm trees up here, and being in nature is a great way to be in the moment, to really present yourself. So we have breathing, you can travel, you can take trips. Going into nature is a really good way and then the, the, the other way that a lot of people don't think about is listening. You can be the most present in your life by listening to another person, by seeing them, seeing them, you know, and really being present. That's why I want to, when I talk to people, I listen. And a lot of times when we listen, we're always thinking about what are we going to say next? What are we going to say? How can we respond? How can we fix the situation for them? That's not required. To really be present and in the moment, you can just listen and offer yourself to another person. We did this yesterday. We went to the Montego Bay SOS Children's Orphanage, and we got to volunteer with the children, and we worked with them and did yoga poses. It was really great. It was really fun, and it was an experience where all we had to do was just listen. We just had to be present. And that was enough for them. That was enough. And it helped me be in my body and feel grounded and be in the moment. So if you're having a, a place in your life where you're feeling very stressed out and things aren't working the way you want them to, you have to just be present and ground yourself in the moment and realize, okay, this situation isn't how I want it, but I'm present in it. Rather than checking out, rather than being obsolete in the areas of your life that aren't working, be present and they will manifest into something you really want much faster. So that was my sign off. I'm heading back out on a plane today, but I wanted to say that Jamaica is beautiful and you guys will really love it and peace out. I'm Shannon from Play With The World. Bye.